the funniest anecdote about Elvis happened in uh, 1975, but it started back in 1971, in November of 71, when J.D. Sumner and the Stamps Quartet joined the Elvis show as the backup singers. And I'd heard these fabulous things about J.D. Sumner and his low voice being in the Guinness World Book of Records for having the lowest voice. And the first time I met him was at the opening night show in uh, Minnesota. And boy, his voice was low. And I was played back and forth with him, telling him, pretend you're a B-49 flying low over the trees. And the, the speakers were just rattling. You thought they were going to break. It was so low. Well, I thought I'd have some fun with him the next day. One of the things I did every day was call each person on the tour to make sure he, uh, he or she was up and tell them to have their bags out for pickup and tell them what time the bus was leaving to go to the airport. When I got to JD, I thought I'd have a little fun. And he picked up the phone and he said, Hello. And I said, Hello, JD. And he said, By God, who is this? <laughs> so I told him and we laughed about it. And I said, I don't do that very often. He said, It hurts. It really hurts my vocal cords. And they didn't do it. Five years later, we were in Dallas, Texas. And we were backstage waiting for Elvis to arrive. Big, big open area. We were kind of in an oval or circular. And everybody was just talking. And finally, the doors rolled up and Elvis limousines drove in. And he got out and he walked over and got in the circle next to J.D. And J.D. was drinking something out of a Coca-Cola cup. And after a couple of minutes, I was said, J.D., let me have a swig of that. I am really dry. And he put it up to his mouth and started to take a drink. And J.D. pulled it back. He said, no, Elvis, you don't want to drink that. You'll be singing bass tonight. And he said, what are you talking about? What do you got in there? Let me see that. And he smelled it. He said, oh, it smells like whiskey. And J.D. says, yes, sir, that's good Kentucky bourbon. He says, well, what are you, becoming an alcoholic, J.D.? J.D. said, oh, no, sir. He says, I drink that for medicinal purposes. And Elvis starts laughing. <laughs> he says, come on, get out of here. No, don't give me that. He says, Elvis, I can prove it. And he's looking at Elvis, but two people down from where Elvis was, I was standing. He says, I can prove it to you. I can pick someone out of our group here in the circle and demonstrate that this really works. And Elvis is laughing harder. He says, yeah, let me see you. So he looks around like he's pretending to find somebody. And he gets to where I'm and he goes, oh, here, Eddie, Eddie's be perfect for this. He's not even one of our singers. Eddie, come on over here and show Elvis how this works. And I saw, I tried to lift my voice, which I couldn't do. I said, I can't do that because I never drink alcohol, J.D. or Elvis. And I said, oh, just come over here and show him. And I walked over and I took the cup and wet my lips and took a little drip, swallowed it. And I, By God, that's good whiskey. <laughs> Elvis, among others, almost fell over backwards. He was laughing so hard. <laughs> that was my best, funniest thing with him. Uh, that's a good one.